Hello YouTube, I got the back of Super Cash here, and I'm just going to make a video on how to jailbreak 4.3.5, um, I bought the fourth generation, it should work on iPhones and all of the other ones, and I, everything will be down in the description below, these are iCracky iDevice um, channel because he's the one who helped me with this, and this is the part of my um, iPod, I restored it, and I'm just going to use this. Four point three point five. I got this right now. <laughs> you're gonna open your XNO art and you're gonna download four point three point four, the firmware download, and you're gonna download the latest um web snow, um which is zero point nine point eight beta four, and you're gonna click browse and go for your four point three point three download, four point three point four download, and you're gonna Select your pack, turn on everything, let it do everything. First time I tried this, it didn't work because I didn't have, um, I clicked 4.3.3, um, the download firm, the firmware download, and the second time I didn't have the full, um, download, and I had to restore on both, well not on both, the first one I had to, but, and I'm watching Disney Channel Good Luck Charlie because it's the first night they watch on TV. I guess I'm gonna watch it all together. The written description will be down below. Check that out. Yep, it's finished. If you, to make sure that you got the right download, um, the download is going to be, uh, 650 megabytes, or megabytes, or the smaller form, KG, KG, or KB, one of those, it's the same as Android. So you're going to check, install Fedora and in Android routers, you're going to check all you're going to, um, equip. You're going to make sure that you're plugged in, you're charging, and that your iPod is off. I'm going to turn it off right now. And once you click next, you hold down the power button. The third step, it says 15 seconds, but make sure you save all the 15 seconds. As you can see, I'm jailbreaking. It's exploding with Lime Ram. Uploading the first page, waiting for the reboot, and I've already ran this. Just let this finish and put it down. I'm not going to cut anything. This is how long it takes once it's done. Um, you don't have to see it because all it does is just split with line and that's it. Loading the kernel. Can you this? I'm not gonna skip this. This goes pretty die fast. The only part that doesn't go die fast is um moving applications. So after this, there's really kind of nothing. Your three tethers. So every time your iPod turns off or you reboot, you're gonna have to um or your battery dies, you're gonna have to go on your laptop or um, PC and check um. Just boot tethers. Don't close them. Um, we'll play Red Snow after you're done. And I'll show you why. Moving applications is the only part that takes long. Let's go and check this. Using this rule. Same with this. Um, it's not gonna pop. Cause it's kind of dumb. Or. Cut it. 
Okay, moving up a person to Kauai. Sorry if my voice is delayed, it'll be a little it will be everything you need to know will be down below in the description of written instructions and everything. So stuff I'm missing up person so you just gonna let this finish. Put this down. Gonna enter installing the bundle if this goes all fast. Let it reboot. Hopefully it doesn't say connect to this place. I can figure out <laughs> figure out what it was called here. Let it load up. And at first, Twitter is going to be white. And if you open it, it's just going to crash. Same with Safari. Okay, so you're going to want to turn on. Wait. You're going to want to go on to um, Red Snow Run. And you're going to click. Just keep tab as now, and then click on that. Turn it off. Let it turn off. Wait till the screen is completely black. Then check this boot password. In the new one, you don't have to uh, exit off of it. You just after you're done, you can go into the game. Click now. Figure. Let's just open this place again. Okay. We'll open Red Snow Run. This is tethered again. Untethered, you don't have to do none of this. You just level up and you're good. You just gotta hit buy and say hi. Well, let me just let Red Snow Run tethered. I'll tell you in a second. Just it's taking a while to open. run and you're gonna do everything over but this time you're gonna click about you're gonna go ahead and click on your thing you don't even have to process the firmware identified gonna do everything again gonna do everything again but this time I'm sorry let this cat sit down and everything
still can't control me. My puppy dog. He does not care about me. the band this this time it's gonna say three points for options you do, just gonna click just two treasures not enable battle because only the only twelve total just two treasures I'm gonna click on that make sure it's off do the same thing put it on DFD another one Basin, but really it's just gonna exploit with long range and then it's gonna beat treasures. It's gonna do it again. Okay, upgrade on the corona. This is what it will take. It's just like turning it on. It's upgrading corona. Then everything else it takes. Um racing iPad. It's just like turning it on again. There, now you're going to be able to use Stadia. I got battery percentage up in the corner. Stadia is no longer white. Just how we use opening in that fashion. So. Thank you, YouTube. This is um, Red Basin 4.345. Everything will be down in the description below. Comment, rate, and subscribe. I'm Red Basin 4.345. Signing off.